the Deputy Senate Minority Leader, my very distinguished uh, colleagues present, Your Excellency, the Honorable Speaker of the Egyptian House of Representatives, uh, you are welcome for the delegation of uh, parliamentarians, members of the House of Representatives, and of course our friend, the, uh, Honor, the Ambassador himself, who has been here uh, with us, His Excellency Asem Hanafi. Uh, let me, on behalf of members of the National Assembly, but particularly the Senate, welcome you today. The relationship between Egypt and Nigeria has been a very long relationship since our independence. Nigeria and Egypt have been very strong members of OAU, the Organization of African Unity, and then now African uh, uh, Union. And let me also take this opportunity to congratulate His Excellency, the President of Egypt, uh, His Excellency uh, Sisi, for being the chairman of the African Union. We are very pleased with the leadership he's given. Uh, recently, he led a delegation of African presidents and head of governments to, to Russia for the Russia uh, Africa engagement. And this is an effort to keep Africa united so that when we talk at international uh, fora, we talk with one voice. When we approach uh, some engagements, like economic engagements that we had in Russia, we do so as a continent. That gives us better results and respect from those countries. African problems can better be resolved by Africans. The Africa Continental Free Trade Agreement signed, Nigeria of course signed this year, but this is one agreement that will help the economies of different African countries. Presently, uh, the trade between Egypt and Nigeria uh, is not too, uh, too high. I think we need to work harder to, to make uh, uh, the trade between the two countries better. And I believe that with the signing of the African Continental uh, Free Trade Agreement, there is room for us to, to have uh, more uh, trading activities between the two countries and indeed with other African countries. Nigeria has a population of almost 200 million, uh, which is the largest in Africa, and 65% of that uh, is youth. So we, we, we have to work to provide employment opportunities for the youth. And Egypt is also doing the same. I think we have an opportunity to share ideas uh, because the challenges are common, are the same challenges. So the two parliaments, uh, Egyptian parliament and this National Assembly, should be engaging more so that we find um, how we can support our governments, our administrations with the legislations that will help create sustained opportunities for our youth to have, uh, to have jobs. <coughs> I'm also pleased that you, in the next three months, you will vote on creating the Senate of Egypt. Uh, already in Nigeria, we are bicameral. We have the House of Representatives with 360 members of the House, parliamentarians, and our Senate is 109, 109. 
and both chambers are elected, uh, none is appointed. The, the Senate is always the, uh, the chamber that brings some kind of uh, equality in Nigeria here. While the House is membership is based on population, in the Senate is equality of state. So the population is only considered in the federal constituencies in the House of Representatives. And as a country with diversity, this is very important to us so that even the smaller ethnic groups are properly represented in the Senate and the National Assembly in legislation and decision making. Egypt has for long been fighting terrorism even before we started having terrorism in Nigeria. So we, we have a lot to learn from your experience of fighting uh, terrorism in Egypt. And Your Excellency, uh, our terrorism started like it was domestic, but it is no more domestic. It is international. It started with Boko Haram, but very soon it became uh, a Boko Haram that had international linkages with the ISIS, with ISWA, the Islamic State in West Africa, and uh, we need to fight it together with our friends like Egypt. So we will continue to have this bilateral and multilateral engagements to find the best way to overcome uh, the terrorism that we face in our countries. And we have a lot to learn from, from your experiences. We are already giving some training to our security personnel uh, on fighting terrorism. We are very glad for that. We appreciate that as a country. But we have a lot of uh, challenges coming uh, from weapons and ammunition that people who were in Libya before the fall of the regime, and now after the fall of the Gaddafi regime, uh, a lot of weapons cross through uh, North Africa down to Nigeria, and that is a big problem to us. So this international dimension means that Nigeria will have to continuously talk with our friends, uh, like Egypt, uh, our neighbors, Benin Republic, uh, Cameroon, Niger, uh, and Chad, so that we are able to work together uh, to overcome uh, the challenges. Uh, we have so many um, Nigerians going to Egypt. Uh, many go to institutions, educational institutions in Egypt. I know Al-Azhar, we have so many people, scholars, going from Nigeria to study uh, law, to study Islamic uh, uh, knowledge, and uh, Al-Azhar particularly has been there for Nigerians. We are very appreciative, but many more Nigerians go to Egypt for, for education. And I'm happy that uh, we have so many English-based uh, institutions in Egypt. So while we can we can we can go to other other countries that are largely English speaking, I'm sure we'll take the opportunity provided by your educational uh, English based educational institutions. And uh, finally I was in Egypt myself to uh, attend the African Cup of Nations uh, Quarter final, I think. And on my way from the uh, stadium, I noticed that right from my arrival in, in Cairo and throughout my stay, there was no power problem. Now, in my office, there was power cut. Here, there was power cut. <laughs> uh, that is to tell you that we have uh, power uh, problems here in Nigeria.
Mr. Fakhri Fayel, Deputy Chairman of the Committee of Industry, Mr. Hassan Ahmed Hassan, Member of the Egyptian Parliament and Member of the African Affairs Committee. Dr. Alaa Nani, Director of the Speaker's Office. And myself, my name is Mahmoud Tawsi, I'm the Secretary General of the Egyptian Parliament. باسمي فخامة الرئيس وباسم جميع الوافد أتقدم لحضرتك بخالص الشكر والتقدير مرة أخرى على هذه الدعوة الكريمة والشكر أيضا موصول لجميع أعضاء الوافد أو مجلس الشيوخ الدائري. In my name and in the name of our delegation, we thank you very much for holding this meeting and thank you for the rest of 
بيور ذا نيشن علاقتنا مع دولة نيجيريا الصديقة أعتقد علاقة قديمة علاقة صداقة علاقة قوة كثير من القواسم المشتركة التي تربطنا معا يمكن أن هذا بنقترب من حوالي 60 سنة من علاقات دبلوماسية مع دولة نيجيريا من سنة 1961 60 تاريخ استقلال نيجيريا وعلاقة جمال عبد الناصر في أول رئيس وزراء في هذه الحقبة أعتقد ما زالت تلهمنا كثيرا نحن أبناء ناصر في مصر. We have a very old relation. It's a friendship and brotherhood relation with Nigeria. We have a lot uh, of comments to share. We have already 60 years of diplomatic relations since uh, 1960s, uh, the date of independence of Nigeria. Uh, our, pres our late president, Gamal Abdel Nasser, has uh, had a very good relation with uh, Nigerian prime minister at that time. فخامه الرئيس احنا دوله افريقيه ونشعر بالفخر والاعتزاز لانتماء هذه القاره السيد الرئيس عبد الفتاح السيسي حاليا رئيس الاتحاد الافريقي نعمل معا في سواء الرئاسه او سواء مجلس النواب على دعم وتطوير العلاقات مع كل الدول الافريقيه انطلاقا من مبدا ان افريقيا للافريقيين ثروات افريقيا لابنائها لابد ايضا من ان نعمل معا على بناء قدرات هذه القاره وبالاخص بالنسبه لشبابها شباب افريقيا يمكن اكثر من 60% من عدد السكان نحن باعتبار من الممثلين في الشعوب علينا ايضا ان نعمل على بناء قدرات هذا الشباب وهو ما عملنا من اجله وعقدنا اول مؤتمر لشباب القاره الافريقيه في العام الماضي في اسوان. Your Excellency, uh, we are very proud that we are African uh, nation. Uh, we all have that proud. Uh, our President Abdel Fattah Sisi now is the head of African Union. Uh, we are working on developing the, the African African relations. Uh, we have uh, we, we we are building the principle that Africa belongs to Africans. Uh, uh, our fortunes should return to our nations and country. We have duty uh, to improve our, uh, the capacity of our youth. 60% nearly of our populations are youth. We have uh, to improve and to get that uh, issue very important uh, in pension. Uh, uh, in our capacity as a representative of people, uh, we need to improve the, the capabilities of youth. That's why we held the uh, first youth uh, conference in Aswan last year. بالنسبة لنا في كمجلس نواب احنا مجلس النواب المصري يمكن في حوالي 596 عضو وعندنا تعديلات دستورية وافقنا عليها منذ ستة اشهر يعني تم انشاء غرفة ثانية او مجلس شيوخ يمكن في خلال يمكن شهور قليلة ثلاث اربع شهور سيكون لدينا مجلس شيوخ وبالتالي حتكون مناسبة لتطوير العلاقات بين مجلس الشيوخ المصري وما بين مجلس الشيوخ هنا في نيجيريا من اجل تطوير العلاقات بين البلدين في المجال الاقتصادي، المجال السياسي وايضا في المجال الثقافي. Uh, in Egyptian House of Representatives, we have uh, 596 uh, MPs. Uh, last six months, we had uh, constitutional amendments that established the uh, Egyptian Senate. Uh, I expect uh, the upcoming three months 
we will debate and adopt the law of the Egyptian Senate, we will take this opportunity uh, to offer that uh, a mutual uh, uh, cooperation between the Egyptian Senate and the Nigerian Senate in every level, economic and political and social level. لنا نفس التحديات سواء في مصر أو في نيجيريا. التحدي الأول هو تحدي الإرهاب، التحدي الثاني أيضا هو عبارة عن التنمية، تنمية الدولينا، تنمية سواء كانت تنمية اقتصادية أو تنمية اجتماعية. التحدي الثالث يمكن بالنسبة لمصر ويمكن تختلف عن نيجيريا هو تحدي فقر المياه اللي هي بتواجهه مصر. We share same challenges in Egypt and Nigeria. First of these challenge uh, is the terrorist, the combating terrorism. The second uh, challenge is the need of development in economic and social level. The third challenge, which is not for Nigeria, it's only for Egypt, the shortage of water. بالنسبة للإرهاب فخامة الرئيس نحن نعيش في منطقة مضطربة يعني لدينا حدود مع ليبيا يمكن حوالي 1200 كيلو متر كثير من الحركات الإرهابية التي تعبر هذه الحدود أيضا علينا التزام في حماية هذه الحدود لكي لا تحدث يعني اختراقات وليس لمصر فقط وانما ايضا للدول الاوروبيه احنا دوله مشاطئه على البحر الابيض المتوسط يعني بمعنى اخر لها حدود مع اوروبا. Regarding the challenge of terrorism uh, we have many issues. Uh, our neighbor Libya we are sharing uh, 1200 kilometers border lines. Uh, it's, there is uh, chances that terrorism could cross the, the, the borders. We, we have a duty and obligation to check uh, these borders, not only for Egypt, for the other countries, and for Europa, European, because the Mediterranean, we, we, we share with, with the European continent the, the Mediterranean. <coughs> يعني حققنا نجاحات كبيرة جدا في تحييم الظاهرة الإرهابية، أصبحت لدينا خبرات متراكمة في هذا المجال، لا نواجه الإرهاب أمنيا فقط، ولكن بنواجه الإرهاب من الناحية الاقتصادية، من الناحية الاجتماعية، من الناحية الثقافية. نحن بنعمل على خلق فرص للشباب المصري، فرص عمل. أيضا بنحاول أن نطور المناطق العشوائية بنبني لهم مساكن جديدة نقلنا أكثر من حي عشوائي بنحاول أن نوفر غطاء اجتماعي بنحاول أن نساعد الطبقات المهمشة أيضا بنحاول أن نمد مظلة التأمين الصحي مظلة التأمين الاجتماعي ليهم أيضا بنحاول على تطوير القطاع الديني يعني ب اتفاق مع مؤسسة الأزهر والكنيسة القبطية المصري لإنشاء أو عمل خطاب ديني يعني يعتمد على التسامح ويعتمد أيضا على قبول الآخر بنحاول أن نخلق جيل جديد من الأولى المصري جيل جيل متسامح وجيل أيضا يقبل الآخر Regarding uh, the terrorism, uh, there is uh, some terrorism group, uh, Daesh in Syria and, and Iraq, but in Egypt we, we achieved a lot regarding combating uh, terrorism and we accumulated a very good experience uh, in that field. We are combating uh, terrorism not only on security level, but also from social and cultural and economic level. We are uh, trying and achieving a lot in creating jobs in Egypt. We are uh, replanning the slums and the unplanned uh, areas. Uh, we increasing the, the programs of uh, social protection. We expanded the, the, the health care uh, uh, insurance. 
uh, we are now working on uh, renewing the religious course depending on the uh, Al Azhar Al Sharif. It's a very old university, as you know, and the, the Coptic uh, Church of Egypt. Uh, this uh, religious course, depending on uh, tolerance and accepting other, we are trying to, to, to create a new generation of acceptance uh, and accepting uh, and tolerance uh, between the Egyptians. Well, 